horns, drums, costumes. But it was not all fun and games. Somerville's annual Honk Festival is also about raising awareness on crucial issues and challenges facing the city, the country, and the planet. An opioid survivor hopes that with Pillman by his side, it will startle people and a force to make conversation. October 1st of this month, it's been six years that I haven't touched a pill. And I want to show other people how they can take that control too. So I'm about to walk this whole parade and stop, and I'm gonna share that with thousands of people and show them that they are important and they need to know what's going into their body. He was not the only one with concerns. You know, since, since the 2016 presidential election, the level of distress and dismay among my constituents has skyrocketed, not just because of some abstract political differences, but because of federal policies which hurt people. Fighting hurtful policies with music and art brought community empowerment. So if you want to shift people's perspective, you got to do something out of the ordinary. And art's really good for getting people to think about things maybe in a different way than they did yesterday. And yeah, if a bunch of us can dress up and do weird things in the street, maybe there's a reason for that. There were hundreds of costumes and thousands of marchers and spectators, and everyone made a lot of noise about life and death issues. I'm a professor. We're here with our class, Anthropology, Myth, Ritual, and Symbol. This melting earth cream cone represents the efforts that we want to make to bring attention to the disproportionate impacts of climate change on people of color and communities of color. The theme this year was we all need a home, housing for all, sanctuary for all, a healthy planet for all. Will street activism turn into political action? We'll be watching. For Somerville Neighborhood News in Harvard Square, I'm Stephanie Wittenbach.